But they do love a scaremongering package on the one mm. show. Um, like I've seen their reporters out and about proving that spiders contain asbestos, or there was the thing about um, an unsecured loan is really easy to break into. Mm. Uh, I think, I think probably the most arbitrary one was was the one about how Twitter can cause cancer. Well, Adrian, the one question, as you know, that's been on everyone's lips this year is being on Twitter. Dangerous. There must be simple deterrents that we can all do to try and prevent this. Well, I'm afraid the one show's usual scaremongering, easy, the Hoff, uh, usual scaremongering research threw up no evidence whatsoever that being on Twitter, as being on Twitter is called, is in any way physically dangerous. However, when we dug a bit deeper and were a bit more spurious, we did find something. Now, this sort of futuristic word clatter is just the kind of thing that's available via online in the form of something called Twitter. And what Twitter is, is writing small letters to people for people to read, either just as you write it on a computer, or even later, maybe, on a thing called one of these. But the big question is, is, is Twitter dangerous? I asked a scientist, is Twitter dangerous? No. That wasn't the answer the One Show wanted or needed to make an alarming package. So instead, I went in search of a concerned mother. I found one near outside a school where I told her to stand. Now, you're a concerned mother. I'm a mother, yes. Well, let me make you concerned. Has your child ever been on Twitter? No. So what if I was to tell you that because being on Twitter is a relatively new technology, it is possible that it's as dangerous as mobile phone masts, as knives, or some cancer? I hadn't heard anything like that. 140 characters or, or less of poison. <sighs> sure I would have heard. Your son... Daughter. ...daughter is in that school dead. My daughter doesn't go to that school. So, if you live near the site of a tweet or your child's school is close to some so-called microblogging, should you be worried? The answer is yes. And to prove it, we track down another expert. Is Twitter dangerous? Yes. Good. How? Well, the dangers start when too many people try to do a tweet at the same time. You must remember that the internet is like a carpet. So, when people are all on the same bit of it at the same time, that can wear a hole in the internet. Won't the Twitter danger deniers just say that you can lift up the damaged piece of the internet and replace it with a new bit? You can't lift the internet up. No, no. There's aliens underneath. The perils of lifting the internet and the menace of Twitter is and are now all only too clear. But one show evidence that you've just seen proves that like microwaves in the 1980s or steam trains when they were first invented, Twitter, if you ever use it, will definitely kill you. There's lots more information um, on our website, bbc.co.uk slash the one show.